Hi, welcome back to another FSD video. Today we are on 10.2 here in San Jose to see how well the car can do. I'm actually in a parking spot area right now and it's just using it as a lane, but now we do have to turn right here. Very interesting start. But um, we're really excited to uh, know that next Friday when Elon releases 10.3, that anyone with a score of 99 will get pushed. Um, comment down below if you're excited to see that. Um, if you got to now and push 100, congratulations. Um, with 100% score But uh, yeah, but today we are in San Jose. We're gonna put it through a bit of a stress test um, Up here. We're gonna have a left-hand turn under a Overpass that has a lot of railroad tracks. We're gonna see how well the system is able to handle that It's done a fairly good job in previous iterations But uh, here we find out how it does on 10.2 All right, so it's coming to a stop pretty far in advance there are two lane lines here um but the actual lane line's way up ahead we're probably two car lanes back no we're right on top of the railroad crossing sign so i think it's picking that up all right so we do have a little bit of a merge here right after the merge is the left hand turn turn left onto west san carlos street okay we just kind of cut off a truck a little bit not really cut him off now but he was going a little bit faster but didn't realize we're merging street but he very safely, comfortably got behind us. Nothing wrong there. Again, it's coming to a stop a bit before the lane line, probably about one car length this time. They're giving each direction. All right, so let's see how well the car does. Now we have to make a left-hand turn here. There are cars behind us, so it's gonna be really interesting. And, oh God, okay. And now it's gonna go in the far right there. really wandered through that intersection I will have to say for anyone who's watching this that was probably one of the better attempts the only reason why that I found that to be a little nervous is because there were cars behind us and it you know wanted to go to the left and the right and the cars behind us did have to you know focus to see where our car was going but luckily we had you know drivers who were aware around us turn right and they probably noticed that we were gonna do that all right, I've punched in a new navigation, and now let's see how well the car can do when we don't put it to an ultimate stress test like that, now where there's right all that confusing line lines with the railroad tracks and whatnot. Most people won't typically come across something like that on their daily drive. It did kind of abruptly come to a really hard break Yeah, there. it slowed down a lot on that turn. Quite a good amount. I mean... And not before the turn like normal. It kind of went onto the street and then almost stopped. But I mean, it's doing a good job so far, other than that. Alright, it is clear and the car proceeds. In 500 feet, turn left onto Gifford Avenue. I'm not gonna lie, um, so far. So far on 10.2, I'm actually really much enjoying this. This is feeling rather comfortable. Kind of took that lane line how I kind of would take that lane yeah, line. Yeah, it, it's right a little hit or miss. Like the corner before that one, it hesitated, and then on this one, it did a great job. Yeah, I really am seeing the progress. Now turn right onto West San Fernando Street. So if I remember correctly, this has a road closure once we get down through here. So let's see if it's still road closed. I don't know, this time it did not take us down the road closure way. Interesting. I will seem to try and find where that road closure area, oh no, this was the road closure. Yeah, it was right here. If you guys remember in previous San Jose stress tests, the car did not detect any of the road closed right here ahead. Um, and now the signs unfortunately are gone. All right, so the light for where the light rail is green and now this is green, here we go. The car is proceeding. I have to say, 10.2 is uh, surprisingly really good. I'm liking it. I could kind of feel it's like I'm just being driven around with an Uber, and you know, occasionally my Uber makes some mistakes that I'm not comfortable with. But uh, that's that's what happens when you're in an Uber. Yeah, it's right up to par with like an average Uber driver. Right Honestly, now. perfect. Yeah. Oh god, there's lights out, and perfect, it detects it. Even though one of the lights was out, the light for our lane actually specifically. Oh, but he actually was. Okay, not sure what, yeah. 
Yeah, I had to take over there. It was obviously going left there for some reason, but we had to go straight. I'm not sure what it really had in its mind there. It was drifting like it was going to turn left, and then it looked like it was just kind of going for the left side of this road. And I would have let it keep going, but I didn't want to play chicken with the Audi that was in front of us. He was just yeah, staring right at us. Yeah, I think we definitely have a responsibility not to scare the traffic around Correct, us. Correct, 100%. All right, so we have railroad crossings on our right, and okay, did oh god, oh. fuck, Jesus, that was like one of the closest. Oh sh okay, we're gonna. That was one of the closest calls we've ever had. I almost couldn't save that. So I guess consistent with what we've noticed so far, that it's a little hit or miss, but that was a strong miss. I really apologize to Tesla, but I will have to upload that, but I will have to give context. There is a railroad track on our right that is very blatant that even a human could maybe think that it would be a road. And the car did try to go down it, r quickly realized that that was not a road, tried to recorrect, but at that point we were about to go over a curb and so I believe the system tried to recorrect to go into the where it looked like a possible road to avoid us going over a curb. And that's where, it, boom, a pole was. And so I just took over. Yep. And that's kind of how I'd phrase that altercation. Yep, yeah, the computer clearly got confused in that situation. And the curb wasn't a big deal to go down. I know based on experience that it's a small curb right there. We've gone over it before. Yeah, we could have gone over it without any issues, but turning towards the pole was definitely not the right point course of action there yeah i'm surprised the uh i wonder if how well the car detected that pull because it was gonna go beeline tesla logo yeah the it. way that it was so like forcefully going towards it makes me think that it didn't realize that the pull was there when it was going for it yeah well um i hope you guys watch this entire segment of us discussing it don't just take cherry pick one little part of it please do not take this and re-upload you do not have permission um share this with your friends so they can see the full context all right so we've reactivated full self-driving we've turned it into new navigation um decided to reset after what you know that previous little segment we it is clear to go right here autopilot creeping forward for visibility it says i can tell that it is clear it's still clear very much clear it's hesitating and now there it goes in 500 feet Turn right onto West Road. And now it got us onto the wrong road. We were actually supposed to go on down that road. But now we're on this little side road. And it's now first... the road's closed. Ooh. Yeah, I took over there just because I got that was a little too close with that door there. Yeah, that might have made it, but it was definitely too close for comfort. Um, the autopilot did readjust the navigation, and we are good to turn right here. The road in front of us is closed. Here we go. Oh, autopilot is activating the windshield wipers automatically for us, probably to clear up the camera, which is interesting though, because I did clean the camera before we started this video. So we have to turn left here. We're in a queue of about four cars all at the same stop sign right now. Well, one of them decided just to run it. <laughs> Taking its time, and there it goes. And just like that, we've arrived at our destination. Now, I still wish that the Tesla would park us, but it doesn't seem like it's going to park us. It just put us in the dead center of the road, I guess. But that's okay, we can easily take off and then park ourselves. 
Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in today's video. Um, it kind of pushed me a little bit past my limits there in the middle, as you saw. But uh, it was a little scary, but I mean, luckily we were able to take over. Um, please watch the whole thing, though, if you can, so that way you get the full context. Um, if you haven't done so, feel free to subscribe and, uh, you know, like the video because that's the algorithm YouTube uses to send it to more people. It really helps us out. And uh, for support us on Patreon, all those things. And we'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.